Hello my dear friends, uh, I will tell you today about my Mini H quad. Uh, I decided to do the build overview a bit later until I until I have a good few flights bash around so I can I can either approve the thing or either I can tell you my flaws. You know, the not <laughs> not much many flaws that I can find in this one. Uh, first of all, yes, you can check the links below. Uh, I will include the links. Uh, there will be of the frame frame testing and build overview. As you can see, there's not a single screw used in building a frame. Um, frame testing, a few few flight videos as well. So okay, let's go for the electronics. I have a uh, ZMR motors RCX, uh, there's a 1804 2400 kV. You know, these motors are a little bit a, a little bit fussy. They don't work, they don't work with all the ESCs. ESCs are uh, Hobby King's uh, F series 10 amp ESCs flash with the very latest Simon K software. You now before that I had I had issues uh, like these motors they have issues with the with, with the synchronization. Uh, over 50% throttle, they just they just bloody losing it. Right. So uh, now, what goes in there? I have my DIY video filter on, and I have my uh, low voltage buzzer that it's soldered directly. Like everything is soldered directly. No, uh, no, not a single, not a single connector is used. Uh, now, as a 32 board on. This is the mini. There's a mini OSD, uh, 200 uh, VTX module. My combat homemade uh, antenna, like this is this is the bloody steel, and I crashed it around, and I well this one is checked, bulletproof. Okay, so here's how I here's how I wired everything, from the main battery to the video filter. I'm feeding the camera. There's a, a Sony Sony 600 TV lines, the most popular. PZ420 I think otherwise it called um so I'm feeding I'm feeding my camera and I'm feeding my and I'm feeding my OS uh, mini mini OSD now from one of the ESC's U bag I'm feeding my uh, NASA NASA 32 board and my receiver receiver is soldered is uh, receiver is stuck on underneath the board and soldered and soldered directly to the board from another from another u bag i got my 5 volts to feed my mobius cam which is uh, which is after the surgery after the surgery as well uh, i i threw out the battery and lightened the case and put the heat ring on and my mobius is only it's only 20 grams so mobius and the flight cam it's on a system on a dampening system if you can see there's a there's a, a silicone tubing small bits and there's another two more two more in here and two more on the other side and the whole system the whole system just swings and dampens and i have and i have no jello now uh, to feed my video system these two these two ubex 5 volts are going into two voltage regulators to give me 3.3 volts uh, required for that VTX model. Uh, from that 3.3 volts together, that goes into another small video filter, and then and then feeds my feeds my video feeds my video module. Uh, the rib cage, the rib cage that I did, it's the fiberglass 1.6 mil cut, and there's a strip of a uh, just just carbon strips. Uh, basically stuck on ca and it does exactly what i wanted to do over the crash as you can see that's from my latest flight like consuming props one after another after after the latest crash it just pops out it just pops out so later on i just get in a drop of ca glue stick it on and it does the job very well uh, to protect my to protect my camera and mobius you know these old school hot rod flames is just a uh, just a meak and a bollocks with my fret saw, but they, but they, but they, instead of running just two lines, so they have to ram into the frame, and this frame, over little little silicone tubing is ramming into the arm. So I have on a full head head on impact, I have a I have a good protection for my for my cameras. So. Uh, the batteries on flying, the batteries on flying is Zippy Compact 2.2 amps. Yes, 
ladies and gentlemen I can live these and I can still have a lot of light like uh, I'm flying 12 12 13 12 13 minutes uh, solid flight plus I have one minute to spare I al I always I always telling my flight time with the one minute to spare just in case of I'm too far away and have to go back and as you can see I modified the batteries as well I chopped up I chopped the leads just to reduce the weight there's a there's a connector three three and a half mil and I and I shortened the balance lead as well so with all this thing with all this thing ready to go I have it was over 400 something 410 grams all of flying weight now needless to say she's bloody nippy that, that was that was my fastest copter that I ever that I ever built so uh, now the downside the downside what I would do a bit different for the next time oh so the next time I would probably ditch the ditch the landing gear and figure it out how to mount things how to mount things on top because when the battery the battery is at the bottom I can feel like the center gravity is way way below the props and I can feel it a little bit swinging like especially especially when you're going off the loop like it goes it it's not just kind of stays on the tight loop but it swings but it swings but it swings back a bit so uh, another thing to mount that on top I would have to lift the camera lift the camera and mobiles up a bit so there it is. Uh, props. Forgot to say about the props. These are the these are the GWS five by three three bladed props. You now there's there's way enough power with the two bladed props five by three, but I like I like three I like three I like three bladed props so they, as they spin spin a bit smoother, kind of smooth out uh, smooth smooths out the vibration vibration on the frame, and with this dampening system I have I have no gel at all. No gel at all, nothing. Another caution for these motors, if you're going to be using somebody using the RCX motors, before you even spin with your, once you get in a postage, before you even spin with your fingers, please take it apart and check. I have some, I had some, I had some chipping loosings, and then they, the anode for the magnets are coming loose, and also a friend of mine had a, had a little magnet chipping uh, rubbing into the stator. Right, so she is good to go. Let's get some flight done, some video done, and bash it as hard as I can possibly can. Okay, bye bye.